Well, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle Nicole, and it's time for a Tuesday tag. Roy from Recipes with Roy got these questions. They are AI generated questions, artificial intelligence generated questions, and they're pretty deep. And I'm like, hmm, how deep do I get into these on the internet today? So maybe I'll go a little deep into some of these things about things I've never discussed before. Um, so they're pretty deep. These are good questions. So I perused it a little bit, but I don't really have an answer to all of them. So bear with me while I go through these. Um, and all of the participants down below will be um, linked down below. That way um, you can go and visit them and learn a little bit more about your favorite YouTubers. So Roy, thank you so much for being so as organized as you always are and getting these questions together and reminding us it's coming up. I love reminders. I will take all your reminders, Roy. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, number one, if you could only listen to one song for the rest of your life, which song would you choose and why? You know what first comes to my mind is Don Henley, Boys of Summer. I will never get, I will never get sick of that song. The Boys of Summer, I just love that song. Just the beat to it, I love it. Um, Let's see here. Number two, what is something you recently learned or discovered that surprised you? That surprised me. Hmm. I know. Um, I'm taking, I'm taking um, classes to make my um, confirmation. I'm Catholic and I never made that sacrament. And so I'm learning a lot about the Bible and Catholicism and all of that. And um, I always get the Holy Trinity. Sometimes it's confusing to me and it was explained very well. And um, I don't know, it just the way she explained it, I just, I feel like I understand it and it all makes sense now. Um, so the Holy Trinity, I would say, um, in Catholicism, we went over that in our class. And I don't know, I needed a refresher. It's been a lot of, a lot of years since I studied Catholicism. Number three, if you could have any non-human ability, what would it be and why? I would turn off my worrying. If I could turn off worrying for myself and other people I know that worry a lot and just have a little bit more peace, maybe have a gauge on it where you worry a little bit just so you have awareness of what's going on, but not like, you know, making yourself sick over things that don't even matter. If there was some kind of dial to tweak that for different things where you're worrying about something and you don't really need to, whew, that would be so nice. I know it's important to, to you know, have awareness and stuff. It keeps us straight. But sometimes if, if I could have some of my worrying going away, I would feel a lot better. Do you have any unique or interesting talents? Um, I play the piano. I took lessons for three years. Um, we have an electric piano over here. My daughter Lauren likes to play it. Um, and sometimes I like to, I used to um, always tell my piano teacher, we got to choose music back in the 80s. That's when I took these classes. And I always picked the love songs of the 80s. Um, so a lot of times I will try to remember because I don't have my music from back then that she read, wrote out for me. So I'll try to remember my love songs from the 80s. And I don't know, I enjoy playing the piano and I would love to go have some more lessons. That's something I should do. That should be on my bucket list. Um, what is one random fact about yourself that most people don't know? Well, people close to me know this, but I don't think you guys do that I am adopted. I was adopted when I was two months old to my parents who have since passed away. They passed away several years ago. Um, so I was adopted. Okay, um, my daughter just came in from soccer, so I stopped the video and I'm back. Okay, where are we? Do, 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 do. Number seven, if you had to describe your personality as a type of food, what would it be and why? The only thing I can think about that comes to my mind is spaghetti. It's traditional. I am very traditional and old fashioned, if you can't tell. Um, I am not cool. I am very, very traditional and old fashioned. So spaghetti, good old spaghetti, pot of spaghetti, simple, like simple life, that type of thing. Um, let's see. What is your favorite day to spend a lazy day? watching YouTube videos in bed. <laughs> that's the first thing that came to my mind. I mean, that's not my favorite way. That's a common way. If I'm going to relax, I lay in bed and have a decaf coffee and watch YouTube videos. Like legit, that's what I do most of the time. But a lazy day for me would probably be just taking a walk, um, sitting outside, getting some fresh air, 
um, having food delivered in, picking up some food from our favorite place and not cooking and probably taking a shower and putting on sweats and just relaxing. That's ideal for me. Let's see. If you could choose any fictional place to visit for a day, where would you go and what would you do? Hmm. Probably in a comfy chair up in the clouds where it's peaceful and quiet, looking down and observing everything. I like to observe and just chilling out. That would be me. Um, and seeing my loved ones up there too. <laughs> That's what I would do. Um, what is something that people often misunderstand or misjudge about you? Well, I can tell you in the past, some people would say, oh, she's too nice. Is she really that nice? So I, I've had people say that about me before. Is she really that nice? Um, and, you know, I am not perfect. I'm not always nice, 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 nice. But yeah, I do try to be nice to people and kind to people and considerate to people. Um, so I am not a phony. And, um, you know, I think in the past, sometimes people have maybe have thought I was phony because they thought I was just too nice. And I am a people pleaser, so that it's a positive and a negative. And um, throughout my life, that's been you know something that's not always easy to juggle because I don't like conflict and confrontation and things like that. I try to steer away from it. So that's what I would say that maybe she's too nice. <laughs> um, and I am nice, but I'm not too nice. I'm not a, always a pushover. I can be a pushover, but not always. If I if it's something I really believe in and it's like my faith like something I really stand strong on, I have no problem standing up for myself. But if it's something I'm wishy-washy on, I can, I can just want to stay quiet and not have conflict with people. <laughs> it's not good, but I'm just telling you the truth. So those are, wait, is that all of them or is there a page two? Nope, all 10 questions. Those were deep. Roy, you got us some deep questions. You sure did. So I hope you learned a little bit of something about me maybe you didn't know and um, about your favorite YouTubers. Go down below and check the description box below. Everyone's answers are going to be there. And I hope you guys are doing great. I'm going to go make dinner for the family. It is Monday at like 5 o'clock. So you guys take care and I will talk to you real soon. Bye, honey bunnies.